Afterwards, Lily giggled and made free with her cuddles. It was so generous of her to think everything was funny. It might just be me, but I sometimes found babies a bit cynical around the edges. Their being here before aura is often registered as smug. No other species considered itself so distinguished while being so glaringly generic, surely. But Lily was civilised and high-spirited. She met the world with wonder and awe. She was aware of her strengths, but she didn't think she knew everything like some babies. She understood that in the grand scheme of things she had been born yesterday. I was in love with her, I suppose. I was making myself smile again. Lily's outlook was healthy. She was very taken with life, squeezing delight out of a mushroom or a cotton reel. Pretty amazing when you consider she was half poisoned before she was even born. We were a mirrored room with hundreds of reflections flashing back and back and back. I knew my constant search for glints of hope was tasteless, but I couldn't stop myself. Besides, both of us, because of this mad dance we did, tended to have feelings that were unreliable. Fractured thoughts rounded up to the next number, false understandings, false intuition. We needed them, I think, and they were linked to an instinct for peace. We sometimes reassured each other to gain a bit of softness and safety and confidence, a sense of ease that wasn't quite truthful, a neighbourliness of spirit now and then could work for a while, get you over the smaller stumbling blocks. I knew I could be guilty of not letting myself see things. <laughs>